My mom barged in my room at 8.58 a.m. and said, we have an emergency, you need to fix this cake. Today is my neighbor's graduation party, and I guess last night her cat sat on her cake. If you look at the lid of the box and you look at the cake, you can actually see how the cat laid down on the cake. You know, the pressure should really be on, but we're just gonna chill out and have fun and just redecorate this cake. It's not like her graduation party is only in a few hours. First step is some demolition. We need to take all these random toppings off and then also clean up the top so we can cover it with white frosting. Now that we've cleared off the toppings, let's go ahead and start making the green frosting because this is gonna be the most time consuming part because you have to match it to the frosting already on the cake. Thankfully, I have a local cake shop right down the street from my house. My parents ran and got me some frosting so I could get working on the cake. We're gonna use two shades of green and hopefully mixing these together can give me the right color. We're gonna take little swabs of this green frosting the cat splattered on the lid we're just gonna compare those to the frosting every once in a while and make sure we get the right color this is pretty close but it's just not close enough yet for me so we're gonna play around with this a little bit longer and see if i can get this to work i heard this thing on youtube that if you go ahead and microwave some of the frosting and then mix it in it makes the color a lot darker and you don't actually need to use as much food coloring so let's go ahead and try that because i'm getting a little frustrated because this is not matching up at all i feel like we started really close and now i'm just getting farther and farther away with each one i honestly Honestly, vaguely remember how to do this i just saw it in a video a long time ago so hopefully i don't just screw up the frosting by doing this but you're supposed to microwave it until it becomes a liquid then you mix it all up i thought i'd microwave it long enough until i started mixing it and realized that uh it's all goo in the bottom not only did this work but it made it way too dark so i had to restart with a brand new batch and then i mixed that up and then put it in the fridge so it can get hard while that green is hardening up let's go ahead and start filling up a bag so we can cover the top with white frosting again can we just take a moment to think about the fact that cats are just savages and they don't care and just do whatever they want like this cat sat on a box that had a cake in it i wonder how it played out like how long did this cat lay on this cake do you see this do you see these scissors why why is this why is this so hard and these scissors are There we go. That's the satisfying shot that I was trying to make. All right. So the goal is we're going to pipe on this white frosting all over the top where the cat sat. And then we're going to smooth that all out. And hopefully it looks like nothing ever happened. Oh yeah. Super important step that I completely forgot. If there's any colors, you want to make sure you take those off because when we smooth it out later, the colors will smear into the white and then it'll be green and white. And we don't want that. We're just going to fill in all of the top with that white. It's okay if there's a little bit of cracks because you're just going to smooth it out. Now that we filled out the whole cat crime scene outline, it's time to go ahead and smooth this all out. I'm using an offset spatula that just makes it a lot easier so you don't get your knuckles on the cake We're not trying to destroy this any more than the cat already did There's some tricky spots that I couldn't quite get with my spatula So I just got this giant knife It has a nice pointy end that I could get inside little nooks and crannies Also the sharp end made it really nice to smooth with Now that we made the top nice and flat I'm checking the green frosting It's still not quite the right color so I add a little bit of red to it And I'm just gonna call this good enough So let's get this piping bag ready We're gonna get our piping bag Then our little coupler You're gonna tuck that in the inside It's easier to just put on your finger and do it like this once that's on the inside, we're going to go ahead and put our tip on it and then tuck that on there. And then we're going to put our other half of the coupler and then screw that on. I'm doing this so that I can do the border, but then also change the tip over there on the left so that I can write on it later. Then to fill our piping bag, I usually just put on my hand and then scoop it in and use my hand inside the bag to help it all get in there. Now it's time to twist it up and then we're going to pipe it all out. Thankfully, this cake is pretty simple, so there's nothing crazy that I have to try to redo. If it was something crazy, you would have to redesign the whole thing because there's no way I could do some crazy design within the time frame that they gave me either way my neighbors are very cool and they're gonna be happy with whatever i end up giving them i mean how bad can this cake be after what they gave me this morning <laughs> anything will look better than a giant cat sized hole in a cake this is the one part though that i wish i would have done a little bit different I was just too busy making the video, and when I was writing, I wrote it a little too small, in my opinion. And I'm sure you noticed it's also a little bit crooked, but my phone was two inches from my face, and I really couldn't see what I was doing besides looking through my phone. I know, I know, I could have been responsible and not made a video and take my time and made it look better, but this is what I do. This is why my neighbors even knew to bring the cake to me. I make videos, and when I asked if I could make a video of this whole cake, they were more than happy to say yes. So not only did a disastrous moment like a cat laying on a cake on the day of your graduation party turn into a fun story and opportunity for me to make a cool video, but it turned into a fun way for me to share Maddie's graduation with you. Maddie is seriously so kind and I hope you'll come into the comments with me and congratulate her on her success. And when you do that, throw out today's emoji, which is the graduation cap girl. How do you think I did? Can you tell a cat laid on this? I mean, besides the lid, you can still tell the cat was on the lid. Let's also see what Maddie thinks. It looks exactly the same. It looks perfect. Such a crazy morning. I definitely don't expect it when.